Using the Image Editor tool. FolioLink accounts come with a built-in tool to resize, crop, rotate, sharpen, and add borders or text to your images. Note that the Image Editor tool will not optimize your image file sizes. We recommend you optimize your files for the web before uploading them to your account, then use the Image Editor tool if you need to adjust specific images. In this example, we have an image that needs to be sized to match the other images in the portfolio. To edit the image, first click on the Site Content tab. Open the portfolio at the left side, go to the image you want to edit, and click on its Properties icon. Click on the Image tab. In the Display Image section, the dimensions of the design are indicated here. This image has been auto-sized to fit the Santiago HTML design. The auto size dimensions are 600 by 277 pixels, which creates a nice width, but not enough height. To edit the image size, click on Custom, then click on Edit Image. Click on Resize. If you see a message indicating the image exceeds current design recommendations, just ignore it for now and click OK. Again, the design dimensions are listed here, 600 by 400. If we click Fit Vertically, the image size will enlarge to fit the vertical dimension of the layout. Or, if you like, you can highlight one of the entered dimensions and enter a new value manually. The other dimension will adjust automatically. Whether you enter your own value or use one of these buttons, when you're finished, click Apply. Then click Save and Exit. If you see this message indicating the file size is larger than the recommended size, it's probably because you've enlarged the image beyond the design's auto size dimensions. Close the message window and select a reduction amount here. Then click Save and Exit. Click Submit, then Preview. The image now fits the height of the other images in the portfolio. Notice here that the images aren't all exactly the same height. If you want to make them all the same height or the same width, you can use the Batch Resize tool under the More Options tab. We won't batch resize now, but you can learn more about this tool in the image sizing section of our help menu. To crop an image, again click on its properties icon, image tab, custom, and edit. Notice that anytime you click edit, the system reverts back to using your original image with its original size. This is meant to preserve the image rather than making a copy of a copy every time you use the editor. I'll just resize my image again to fit vertically, then apply. Now, instead of going to save and exit, I'll click crop. The crop tool defaults to a 100 by 100 pixel area. I'll highlight the width value here and enter a crop value. Then I'll enter a height value, drag the crop marquee to the right place, and click apply. Click save and exit, then submit and preview. You can also rotate the image or sharpen the image. We'll get to text in a minute. First, we'll look at borders. To add a border to the image, select a color, a pixel width, and where you want to put the border. You can also select to place the border inside or outside of the image. Keep in mind the size of your image because if the image already fills the design, an outside border will be cropped. When you've picked your border settings, click Apply. The last option in the image editor is text. You can add text to any part of an image, but if you add a border first, as we've done here, then you have a nice space to add a caption to the image. Select a font, size, and color, position the marquee with your mouse, and enter your text. Click Apply. If you see this message indicating the file size is larger than the recommended size, it's because the text and or the border you've added have made the file size larger. Close the message window and select a reduction amount here. Then click Save and Exit. Click Submit, then Preview. The same image editor options described in this video can also be used on your thumbnail images. For more information, please refer to our help menu or feel free to contact us at info at foliolink.com.